Welcome back to another episode of Duck Hunting Tips for Tuesday. Thank you guys for joining me today for another Duck Hunting Tips for Tuesday. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram. Boom at Mid Valley Mercenaries. We do have a Facebook account, but fortunately for us, somebody has tried to hack my personal account and Facebook has shut me down for three weeks. So if you guys are wondering where I've been on Facebook, that is where. Don't forget, if you like these hats, I'll put the link in the description below. Go by the website and grab one if you want. Also, this hoodie, it's actually grunt style, but I really like these. Um, it's a military based company that uses all vets. And uh, they have some awesome gear if you guys want to check them out, grunt style. All right, guys, today we're going to talk about duck call maintenance and security. So here we go. First off, I want to talk about duck call maintenance. Okay, one thing, whether it's a lot of moisture outside, whether it's raining, whether it's dry, it really doesn't matter. When you begin to blow on a duck call, and I'm going to show you an example. See how there's nothing in there? It looks clear, it looks clean. The next scene you're going to see, I'm going to show you what it looks like after I get done blowing it for like, 10 seconds. It will focus. I don't know if it will, but if you can see, there is a lot of moisture in there. It's nasty looking. It's a bunch of slobber. So, after a long, hard day of hunting and you come back to the house, the tip is today, separate your duck call. I know this sounds simple, guys, but this is huge. But what I do when I come home is I separate the call. I lay it down and let it dry till the next duck hunt. Also, if you really want to get technical, you can run this under some water, pull out your reed, rinse it under some warm water. Even if you want to use soap, you'll find, it's kind of disgusting guys, but you'll kind of find some stuff uh, lodged up in the call. Take it under some warm water, rinse it out, put your reed back in, boom, you're ready to go. Let it dry like this. Set that out until the next time. I'm telling you guys, it'll make a huge difference because one of those times you go out there and you haven't cleaned it, it's still wet, and it'll stay wet for a long time in the winter. It's cool. It'll stay wet. You go out there to blow it, and you'll sound like Daffy Duck is choking to death. We don't want that. Second tip, we're going to give two tips today in this, is duck call security. Do you see what I have happening here? There is two pieces of the lanyard holding this duck call. I'm going to show you right now what happened to me and the reason we put two on here right now. Here we go. Hey, look what just happened. That's why you keep tie both on. So there you see, having two on here saved my bacon, saved me from losing a call. And where I learned that, unfortunately, is by experience. The prior year to that, my good buddy Travis, you've seen him in the, in the videos, he told me, you better put two on there, you better put two on there, you better put two on there, nah, it'll be fine, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. No. I bought two new calls, I bought a teal call and I bought a mallard call, brand new, never used them, walking out to the duck blind, got out to the duck blind, reached down to use my calls and blow the call, guess what, no calls, learn my lessons, don't learn the hard way guys, listen to someone with experience, listen to somebody that knows, double tie your duck calls on the lanyard, you won't regret it, whether it's a $20 call or a $150 call, it doesn't matter. You guys don't want to lose your calls to you, it's precious to you, you spent the money on it. And, it. and it could be crucial. Some people only carry one call on their lanyard. If you lose that one call, you're out of luck. So anyways guys, that's the duck hunting tip for Tuesday today I have for you guys. I think it will help you, I know it will help you. Don't do as I do, do as I say. Double tie your calls and keep them clean, keep them dry, and you'll have a successful hunt. Thanks for watching today, guys. Don't forget to join us next week at the same time. We'll see you guys later.